Well, Alan Jones has been calling it a national economic suicide note for years, and we repeat it almost weekly here on ADH TV. The policies to replace cheap, reliable energy with renewables will cost you, the average Australian, a fortune, and all for an environmental goal that is as unachievable as it is unnecessary. The Australian Financial Review's Energy and Climate Summit, attended by all the big hitters in the industry, including Energy and Climate Change Minister Chris Bowen, admitted this as much today. Alinta Chief Executive Jeff Dimery told the conference that punters can expect power bills to increase by 35% next year. He said, quote, It's horrendous. It's unpalatable. We don't want energy consumers getting their power bills and setting fire to them. Well, that's one way to stay warm in winter, I suppose. Dimery wasn't the only senior industry figure to sound the alarm. Origin CEO Frank Calabria said, quote, Based on current wholesale prices, those orders, orders of magnitude sound familiar to me. Your federal energy minister, Chris Bowen, wasn't moved. He is steaming ahead with a plan that will ensure those dire predictions come true. The predictions are far from conjecture. They are being experienced already now in Europe, where businesses are shutting down and people are congregating in warm spaces because they can't afford to heat their own homes. But speaking at the conference, Bowen dismissed claims that what is happening in Europe is a taste of what Australia will experience next winter. He said right-wing commentators were attributing the European energy crisis to renewables when it was instead caused by the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He said, quote, the price of gas in Europe is around nine times that of renewables. And yet some geniuses argue the problem is too much reliance on renewables, unquote. Bowen is an idiot who is going to bankrupt Australian businesses and force Australians to freeze in the dark next winter. He fails to mention that Britain is reviving the fracking of gas, Germany is firing up coal and gas-fired power stations, and LNG import plants are being rushed into operation to keep the lights on. The energy, and energy crisis in France is so bad that the city of lights has already started plunging itself into darkness at night. The Wall Street Journal reports that, quote, tourists are showing up to monuments for late night photos only to find somber silhouettes. And even the Eiffel Tower, symbol of France's ra rise as an industrialized nation, is hitting the off switch early, unquote. If ever there was an opportunity for solar panels and windmills to prove their viability, it is this winter in Europe, where gas is 10 times the price it was three years ago and is predicted to go even higher over the next year.